welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video i hope you are all well i really hope you guys have had an amazing start to the new year my new year has just been about organizing i am organizing literally every crevice in my house at the minute so I thought, what better place to get organisation stuff than B&M? So I, I took a trip down to B&M the other day and I was not disappointed. B&M have amazing organisation stuff. They had storage boxes, you name it, they literally had it. So I picked up a few storage bits. I've also got some cleaning bits and I've also got a solution type of thing for the house. You'll know more when, when I show you what it is, but yeah. I have picked up quite a few bits. I've got one, two, three bags plus a big bag because one of the items was a lot bigger than the other bags. So I've got four bags, but really it's like three and a half bags because there's only one item in that big bag. Anyway, I'm going to get straight into today's video. If you do like it today, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Honestly, it does not cost a penny to subscribe to my channel. It just helps me out so much and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well because that will tell you when I next upload. And without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So like I said, I've got three bags, but <laughs> honestly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but none of this is organised. I am going to get organised, I promise. I promise the next video you see is going to be organised. I'm going to have it all sectioned out nicely, but at the minute, I'm just going to pull out what's in the bag, guys, okay? So, the first item I can see in the first bag is this set of three speckled dip bowls. So, I just found these three dip bowls. These are so nice. My daughter actually picked these up, and when I saw them in her trolley, I said, where did you get those? They were £5, but they're actually £2.50 in the sale. So if you're looking for dip bowls, £2.50. And these are really good size. So this is the size of my hand. I'm not sure I'm going to be using them for dipping bowls necessarily. I might be using them when my grandchildren come around to put their popcorn in or their little sweets or things like that. Or maybe fruit bowls for them. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely going to be using these. They seem really good quality, they are ceramic so they're going to last you a little while as well and I just thought for £2.50 you cannot go wrong with that price. They were £5 so so happy I got these. There weren't a lot of these left in my B&M so get yourself down there quick time if you want these. So my next item is pretty random but seriously I needed this and I can't believe I haven't picked one up in ages. So it's just this little... What are they called? Wash puffs? Puff wash? I, I can't remember what they're called, but this little puff in the shower to wash yourself. Um, I've just picked up a white one. This is literally needed for so long. I cannot remember when last time I replaced this, which sounds really bad. But honestly, it's just not one of those things that you think about picking up, is it? Like every time I have a shower or a bath and I look at the the little puff that we have and I think to myself I've got to replace that I've got to replace it and every time I've gone out I've just forgotten to replace it so I've got one now got a white one because white just goes with everything and it was only a pound so yeah just pick one of them up so if you follow my channel for a little while you know that I have so many wax melts in my house so many I think I've got one here I've got mine literally everywhere. I think I've got one in the bathroom, downstairs, everywhere. I've got one in the house. And I've only got Christmas wax melts, which I am still burning. I'm still burning my gingerbread wax melts, my Christmassy ones. I love the scent of them. So I thought, Tracy, you need to get some new ones. So I picked up these ones. These are the Fabulosa ones. They're coconut and lime breeze. You get 12 of these. Can't remember how much they were. I'm pretty sure they weren't that expensive. I think there was like 149 um but i love the packaging absolutely love the packaging of these they did have some other ones in there i can't remember what what scent they were but they did have some others but this one just smells so fresh i think it's the lime it's just it just smells so fresh i can't smell the coconut so much oh yeah i can actually i can smell the coconut coconut and lime this just smells amazing cannot wait to burn these I need to take out all the wax that's in the wax melts at the minute and just replace them with these. So my house is gonna smell amazing. So next up, this is the solution that I was telling you about. So 
I have four cats in my house, four, and I have two litter trays, two big litter trays for them. And I just find when they go to the litter tray, they jump out of the litter tray and they tend to take all the litter around my house. I don't know how they do it, but around the whole house, like literally through my hallway, the litter trays are in the upstairs bathroom. They take it through the landing, down the stairs, into the living room, onto my rug in the living room, in my bedroom, wherever you go in the house, there's always litter. It drives me crazy. So I thought, why not get like a mat where when they jump out of the litter tray, they can sort of catch their paws on the mat and then hopefully just take some of the litter off at least. I did actually find a litter tray mat in Jolly's. I'm not sure if you know Jolly's, but Jolly's is like a pet company, a bit like pets at home. It's a bit like that. And they sold one in there, but it was $7.99 and I wasn't prepared to pay $7.99 for a mat, not knowing whether it was going to work or not. So I found this, this was £2.50. It's an anti-slip mat, so it's great. So when it goes underneath the litter tray, it's not going to slip around and move around. But it's got like a rubbery sort of feel to it. So I'm thinking, catch, jump out, the paws hit this, litter just falls off on this. It'd be so much easier just to pick this up and just pour it into a dustbin. But I thought I'd try this out, see how we get on with it. You can cut this to size as well. So there's a lot on this. You've got 200 by 30 centimeters um of mat so there's actually quite a lot in this the only thing with this is i noticed walking around b&m i noticed it's got holes in it so i'm not sure if the litter is going to fall through these little holes um so yeah i did pick this one up however i don't know if i told you the price it was two pound fifty but you can use this for anything like it says here you can put it in your drawer and you can put all your utensils on it so it don't slip around. You've got a chopping board here also, you can put it underneath there so your chopping board doesn't slip around when you're using your chopping board. There's just so many uses for this. Um, my use was to catch the litter and the litter tray. That was my first thought and then I thought about the holes and I wasn't sure whether it was going to work or not. I got around the corner in the special buys aisle and I found this. So this is just basically a door rug. It has these little grooves in it. There's no holes in this whatsoever. I thought it'd look nicer in the bathroom because I'm actually adding black in the bathroom. And also it wasn't too big. I mean, it's too big. I'm covering up my whole screen here. It will just fit nicely under the litter tray. It's also got the rubber bit on the bottom so it won't slip in the bathroom because I've got hard floor in there. I'm gonna try it. It was three pounds, but Honestly, if anyone's got any solutions of what I can do underneath the litter tray, then please let me know in the comments down below because I need help. Honestly, I need help. So next up, like I said, I was looking for story stuff and one of my et hates is all my cups being stacked on each other in the cupboard. So when I went down to my mum's once, my sister had bought this little rack and it had the cups underneath it and I thought, what a great idea. That would look so neat and tidy. And I couldn't find it for ages. I found it on Amazon, but it was so expensive. I just weren't going to pay that for it. And I found it in B&M the other day. And I'm so happy about it. My daughter's also got it. When I picked it up, she said, yeah, I've got one of those, mum. It goes underneath my cupboard and holds all the cups. When I went back to my daughter's house, she showed me it goes underneath the cupboard. And I'm not sure I want it like that. I wanted it. You know, on the middle shelf in your cupboard, I wanted it there and then just hang the cups up like that and then maybe have some underneath it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try it out. I haven't tried it out yet, but it's just this. It just looks like this. It's just metal. It's got, I think I'm holding it upside down. It's got these hooks underneath. You can hook the cups on it. Just a great idea. It was £2.50, which I thought was so good. But if you look here on the picture, it just holds the cups underneath. And I just thought that would be so neat, so tidy, and just a solution now for having nice neat cups in the cupboard and not having them falling out on me every time I try to open the cupboard door. But yeah, £2.50, I didn't think that was bad at all. I think I just found my receipt, guys. I did. I'm trying to see what was it I didn't know the price of. Ah, Fabulosa. Let me see how much the Fabulosa was. 
So the Fabulosa was actually one ninety nine. So I did get that. One. So like I said, no more than two pounds. Right on to the next bag. So next up, I saw this on someone's um, video a couple of weeks ago. It, I think it was a TikTok I saw it on, and I had to buy it. I was looking for it everywhere, and they had it in. So I bought this space saving hanger organizer. So it just looks like this, just plastic. There's nothing to it really. Um, but if you have a look on the picture, you can either hang them like this or you're, you can, I don't know how it works. I'm gonna have to take this off. I think this part here just slides down like that. So you can hang them down like that or you can have them in a line like that, which is so good. That is gonna be so good for the space that you need in your wardrobe. Like I always, always have my clothes in my wardrobe and they're always squished up together. So I just wanted to do, have a solution for that. Um, and I thought these were really good. It holds nine hangers, which is so good. That's literally half my wardrobe, which is gonna be amazing. I should have got two. Why do I always only get one and then regret it? But this was two pounds and yeah, it's just a wardrobe space saver. But honestly, I thought it was such a good idea. So next up, like I said, I have cats and I have a lot of them. I also have a dog. So we're at the time of the year when my cats and my dog are just molting everywhere. And I don't know about you, but whenever I put my washing in the washing machine, it always comes out with cat hair on it. I don't know what it is or dog hair. I don't know what it is, but I will wash that. I will put it on a hot wash. I will put it on a cold wash. It doesn't matter. It still comes out with cat hair on it. But honestly, it drives me mad. Like I put them in there to get that cat hair off and it's not coming off. But yeah, so I found these, the reusable lint and hair catchables. God, that's a mouthful. So you get three in a pack and you literally just put these in your washing machine and they are meant to just catch all the hair off the clothes as the washing's going around. I really hope these work. I think also you can put them in the tumble dryer, is that right? Yeah, suitable for washer and dryer. Simply place a washing ball and clothes together in the washing machine. After washing, rinse washing ball with water to remove the hair. So apparently all this, this little tiny ball here is going to catch all the hair. I hope it works. I really, really do. These were two pounds, so not bad at all. You get three in a pack, like I said. Um, yeah, I'm going to try these out. I'll let you know how I get on with them when I do my storage video. Um, but honestly, I really hope these work. I've got hair. I've got cat hair up my nose right now. I can feel it. So next up for storage, I picked up these two extendable fridge organisers. I picked up two of them. They were two pound each. Um, but I thought these would be a great idea for the veg and the fruit and stuff like that for my fridge. Like I said, they're extendable, so they do extend out. So you can get quite a lot of stuff in there. It's got little holes in the bottom there, so it keeps everything nice and fresh. And then it has these little extended bits. This goes on top, it slides on top of the glass, and then this goes underneath the shelf on the fridge. I've got a picture here to show you also, look. This is how it sits inside the fridge. Like you can see, you can put anything in there. I think they've got strawberries. Yeah, they've got strawberries in there. Just to keep them nice and fresh and nice and organised. To be fair, my fridge is quite organised. I've got lots of acrylic sort of boxes in there. Boxes, storage boxes, containers. I think that's what they're called. Um, so yeah, my fridge is quite organised, um, although I do need to go through it and just clean it because at the minute it does need clean. But I just thought, yeah, these would just be good for the fridge, putting veg and fruit in because my veg and fruit still stays in the packets. Um, but it would just look so much neater and tidy in these. And like I said, I got two of them. So next up, just got some cleaning bits. So I picked up two carpet fresheners, just because at the minute, my dog thinks it's a great idea to wee on the carpet in the landing upstairs. So yeah, I am needing to clean it continuously at the minute. I don't know why she's doing it. I think the cats have weed there before and she can smell the scent and she's trying to mark her territory. I don't know, but it's so frustrating. I picked up two carpet fresheners and also I love this stuff. I love spraying this when we fin when I finish cleaning. I picked up this one, which is the one that I picked up last time. It's soft jasmine and linen. This is 
the 1001 carpet fresh this smells amazing if you haven't smelt this i think this is new it doesn't say new on it but i've never smelt this before um if you haven't smelt this stuff it smells so good it smells so fresh and the smell lasts for ages this is just quick drying fine foam eliminates odors and the source of the odors as well and it really really does it really works well but before i saw that one i saw this one which is a fabulosa one i didn't tell you how much this one was i'm pretty sure it's 189 um but before i saw that one we found these ones this is in the fragrance lime sherbet i, I sprayed this in the shop and i know you're not meant to but this smells Oh, I can smell it now. It smells amazing. It's so, so nice. If you're trying to get urine smells out of carpets and bedding and mattresses and things like that, which is the problems I have in my house at the minute, um, lime and lemon fragrances and things like that are so good for eliminating those sort of smells. This one was actually cheaper than the 1001 just because I think that one's been going for so long. This was actually 149 so if this works better, I'm going to be buying this from now on because it smells amazing. I actually feel like I've been talking for 100 miles per hour, but I'm on my second coffee at the minute, so that's probably why. But oh. I know it's cold outside, guys, although the sun is really shining today. It's such a beautiful day. Um, I just have to have iced coffee. I love iced coffee. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm on to my third bag now. There's a smell in this bag that smells amazing. And I think I know what it is. I think it's this stuff. These are the Fairy Boost. Are they called Booster? Scent Boosters. Guys, honestly, if you have not smelt these, please go and smell them. They are so nice. Like, insanely nice. And they make your, your washing smell exactly like this. My second part that I bought of these. So they, I didn't realise that was a fragrance. Can't believe I've never even made the fragrance on these before. I just thought it was a fresh smell. It just said very fresh. So I thought that was the actual scent, the fresh. But actually the almond milk and manuka honey scent. Honestly, I don't even need to open these. The whole bag, my whole bedroom just smells of these they're so so nice not only do i use these for the washing machine but i also use them i'll put them in little bags and i will use them around the house i will put them under my mattress i will put them in my sofa covers in my sofa cushions makes your house smell amazing these are 2 99 so they're not the cheapest scented balls so in my last video which was my clean with my video clean with my video clean with me video i was still using all my christmas products and i needed to use them up i'm not going to waste them and wait till next year when they're out of date so i was using them up i finished finished my flash spray wipe done i love this stuff it's so so good honestly it does what it says on the bottle you just spray you wipe and it is done and it is so good for chrome as well when i do this on my taps they come out sparkling and I didn't even have to wipe them down afterwards or dry them or anything like that. They came out so nice. This one is in the white blossom scent. Um, it's just this one for the bathroom. I'm pretty sure this is 189 flash receipt. So I have my receipt. 299 this was, but it is a big old bottle. So back to storage. I picked up these two pack of adjustable drawer dividers. This is what they look like. So you put them into your drawer. I'm pretty sure they're plastic. Um, you put them into your drawer and it just divides your clothes. It's gonna look so much neater, so much tidier. And I've got a set of three drawers here. One has my underwear in, one has pajamas, and then some just bits and bobs at the bottom. And they all need sorting out. So I thought these would be a really good idea. They're quite deep drawers as well. so. These are going to be a really good idea for those drawers. Also for the drawers, I bought this um, eight-piece drawer organiser. This is the honeycomb one. So it just looks like this. Um, and you just section out your underwear or your socks or whatever you want to section out in there. It's just going to look so neat and tidy. And just when you go to your drawer, it's not all going to be scrambled up in 
the drawer and you're not going to find anything which is pretty much my drawer at the minute so yeah that's why i bought these but yeah it's going to look so much more organized again these were three pounds which i thought was so good um also random piece again i picked up some glass drawers i love glass drawers i actually bought glass drawers from the pound shop last year and i have one left i don't even know where they are I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know whether they got broke or what. But I love a glass drawer. There's just something about drinking an iced coffee out of a glass drawer. It just hits different. It's just so nice. It just tastes a lot fresher as well and a lot cleaner. I picked these up because my daughter has these. And they didn't have these in B&M for ages last year. And when I went in this year, I found them and I was so excited. You get a set of six glass drinking straws. Also includes the cleaning brush as well, which is good because I don't know where my cleaning brush has gone either. I had two. I don't know where they've gone. But these were three pounds and you get six. I love the colours of these. I don't know if you can see, but there, there's a clear one. You've got pink, yellow, orange, green and blue. And I just thought, how nice are they? I like the way they go to the side as well because this one, these ones I got from the pound shop. Um, and for a pack of six of these they were three pound also so six yeah you get six in there yeah for a pack of six of these they were three pound but these ones are just the straight ones um, and when I saw my daughter's ones I thought they were so nice and yeah I picked them up so they sort of go to the side but yeah I thought they were so nice like I said I love a glass straw I also think I like it because you can see inside it and you can see that there's no gunky stuff in it. With those plastic straws, I have a fear of those. I do not like drinking out of those plastic straws or any other straws that I can't see through. I just don't like it. I just got a fear of it. You just don't know what's inside it and that's what really terrifies me. <laughs> These glass straws, you can see through them. So you can see what you're drinking and what's inside the straw and if it's clean. <laughs> just found my slipper i've been looking for this slipper everywhere and i've just found it in my b m bag but yeah this stuff i actually bought quite a while ago but i did want to include it because obviously it's stuff new stuff that i'm doing to the house um so i wanted to show you it anyway so these two i picked up in the sale this is just a little tumbler it was two pound fifty down to a pound but i love the color of this on camera it looks gray but it's not it the color is called what is the color called taupe so it's like a beige sort of grage color um and i just thought this was so nice i'm changing up the bathroom again guys honestly i'm always changing something in my house um and i just thought that color would just go so nice i also found that they have the soap dispenser in the same range these are so nice i can't believe these are in the sale this was £4 and it went down to £2. But honestly, these are going to look so nice in the bathroom. I'm not sure I'm going to put toothbrushes in here. Because another little thing that scares me is having toothbrushes on the sink and then having your toilet right next to the toothbrushes. I just, I don't like it. I have to have my toothbrushes put away. I do have a, a bathroom cabinet. So I'm just probably going to put the toothbrushes in here and then put them in the bathroom cabinet. Because honestly, I don't like toothbrushes being out. Please let me know if I'm just being really weird or are you the same? Because honestly, I don't like it. It's just, it scares me to death. But yeah, I just think this is going to look really nice. The only thing is, I wasn't sure about the silver on the top, so I might change that. Um, but yeah, I really like these £2 and a pound. You just cannot go wrong for changing up little bits in the house. So yeah, really, really happy with those. So the last thing that I bought was... The favourite thing I bought, and I've had this for so long, guys. Honestly, I think I've had this for two months, I want to say, and I still haven't used it because what I want to do, I haven't got round to doing it yet. Um, I bought this beautiful basket. How lovely is this? When I bought this, it said last chance to buy, so I snapped it up quick time. It was £5, but I'm going to put this in my bathroom, and look, how nice... Like how nice does this go together? I think that's going to look really, really lovely together. Honestly, they just come up grey on camera, but they're not. Honestly, they're not. Um, 
But yeah, I just think this is so, so pretty and that's going to look so nice in my bathroom. At the minute, I've just got a plain white basket and it holds toilet roll and I've got some other bits in there as well that it holds. Um, and I just don't like the look of it. And when I saw this, I just thought, that would just look so lovely. You can obviously put this anywhere in your house, but I'm going to have it in the bathroom. Um, but I just love it. Five pound, guys, this was. And it was in the last chance to buy section. So they obviously thought they weren't going to get any more of it in. But when I went the other day with my daughter and bought all this other stuff, they had loads of these in. They also had a different shape. I think the other shape was, was it square? Or oh, rectangle? I'm pretty sure it was either rect rectangle or square. I'm not sure, but I love this one. I think this is so, so nice. It's really spacious inside as well. But yeah, I cannot wait to put this out now. And now I've showed you guys these things. I can start on my bathroom. It's only little bits that I'm changing in the bathroom. So it's not going to be like a big transformation or anything like that. Um, I'm just changing a few little colours around in the bathroom. That's all. But yeah, that was everything that I got in B&M. That was quite a lot of stuff. And I feel like I ever spoke 100 miles per hour. I really hope this video has helped you out if you're looking to organise your house or... You just wanted some storage solutions for the house. I really hope this video has helped you out. Honestly, B&M is so inexpensive. So if you do need anything, the best place I would go is B&M. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll see you all soon for the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.